In this question from the chapter similar triangles, we are given PQRS. As you can see, PQRS is given a trapezium where the parallel sides mentioned is this. That is PQ given parallel to RS. This is what given. And uh, further, we are given two points, say E and F are any two points on the line PQ and RS. This is joined to meet the line, to meet the line, this line SQ, right? SQ at point G is the point at which they are meeting. What we have to prove in this question, the two proof part is this. That means we need to prove EQ. Where is EQ? Yeah. We need to prove EQ. That means this into GS. GS is this, is equal to GQ. That means GQ is this into this. This is what. So from here, we get an idea that we have to prove two triangles similar. And I can see the triangles which we can prove similar. When I'm taking this triangle, as you can see that uh, we have to prove the parts of those triangles as similar. So one is this, another is this. So I can prove this triangle similar. Let's figure out. Since these two lines are given parallel, that is, these two lines are given parallel, we can use alternate interior angle concept and say that this angle will be equal to this. Let's say if I mark this angle as 1 and this as 2. Further, considering this as the transversal, considering FG as the transversal, we can even say these two angles are equal. So that means I can say angle 3 is equal to angle 4. This way we can write the two triangles, make, make the two triangles similar. So let's begin with the working here. We'll consider here, that is the triangle. Triangle one is, say, start with uh, EQG. And the other triangle is FSG. Now we can say that angle one is equal to angle two and angle three is equal to angle four from the reason that they are alternate interior angle interior angles. So now we can say the triangle that is the triangle EQG is similar to triangle FSG. Once these two triangles are similar, I can write their sides proportional. So let's say if I write EQ in the left, then it should be the other triangle should be FS is equal to, if I take the last two letters that is QG, then it should be SG. Now, from here, if I do cross multiplication on this step, if I do cross multiplication here, then it's going to be what? That is EQ multiplied by SG or GS is the same thing, is equal to GQ or QG into FS. So this is what we needed to prove here. That is, this is what we needed to prove here. And that's really proved it.